Hello everyone, in this video I want to quickly show you how you can import external models into LT Spice, and we will do this at the example of the ATL431, which is a very popular component after all, um, but there is no LT Spice model. Um, if we scroll down here, then we can actually find the simulation models which are provided by um, TI, and we can use pretty much any of these. I'll just use the revision D because this is probably the latest version. Um, and we just open this model, then we can see that inside here there is a lib file, and if we take a look, then, yeah, just open this with like any text editor, then you can see that this is actually a file containing the sub-circuit, and this is what we're after. Like whenever you download an external uh, model, always look for the file which contains this sub-circuit, because this is actually the behavioral description or like the internal circuitry of the um, component. So this is the file we're after. So let's just go ahead and copy this over. And we're gonna copy it here. Um, in our LTSpice folder, there is this lib, which is always there by default. There is the whole libraries are in here. And in the subfolder, all of the subcircuits can be found. So let's just go ahead and copy it in here. So now all we need to do is fire up LTSpice and create a symbol for this subcircuit. So you can just drag and drop it over here. There we have it. And now this is the behavioral simulation of uh, the behavioral model. So we, we need to find a way to import this in our schematic. And for, for this, we can just right click and say create symbol. And then yes, we want to create a symbol. And there we have it. Now we can actually um, make this nicer. I'm just quickly going to like rearrange the um, pins such that it fits better into my schematic. That looks good like so. And we're good, actually. That is all we need. So we can close these now. And I have already created a small test bench here. Um, let's close this as well. And sorry, let's go ahead and add a component by pressing F2. And here, there we can find a folder which is called auto-generated. And there is the um, symbol which we just generated. So I just pop it in here wire it up. There we go. That should be good. So let's try run the system. And yes, indeed, it actually does what it's supposed to do. As soon as this in pin here um, goes beyond 2.5 volts, the ATL431 triggers and it pulls the output to ground. So this is how you import models um, from TI or from any vendor essentially into LTSpice and then quickly create a schematic symbol. I hope this um, was helpful for you and if yes, uh, see you next time.